Hi there, today I wanted to demonstrate to you one of our products. This is Shalex Dam Sealer. It's a product that you can use to seal leaking dams, uh, ponds, uh, any earthen structures. Uh, we're actually on a site today where a customer is using this product. Uh, they've constructed a, a large dam for a commercial nursery and they've had a, a, a failure with uh, water pushing through the walls. Um, and I, I wanted to explain a little bit about uh, how the product can, can help this customer solve their, uh, their leak problems. But just to, to show you how the product works, um, I'll do a quick demonstration today. So basically I've got uh, a cup full of sand. I've drilled a few holes in the bottom of that cup. You can see how quickly the water is, is leaking through. And uh, normally a, a dam isn't built out of sand, but I just wanted to show you how the product is actually able to stem the flow of water. So the product itself, I'll just grab some out of uh, here. It's actually a powder and the powder is normally dispersed over the water so I'll just take a, a pinch of the, uh, the product and add it. Um, normally what happens over time, uh, it activates. It takes about two hours uh, for the polymer to fully activate. Um, but what I will do is I'll just leave that here and uh, talk a little bit more about this dam and just show you how over this short period of time we've managed to slow the, uh, the leaks down. So I'll just pop that uh, down there and cover the product up. Uh, it is a powder, you need to keep it dry um, and it activates basically when it comes into contact with water. So the product itself, uh, it's non-toxic, it's safe for use for potable water uh, and we find it's normally used on things like farm dams or um, uh, ponds and things that people might create. Uh, in situations such as this, uh, you have to build a dam. Um, often you do an assessment of your soils before you actually constructed that dam. Now, you may not have the ideal soil structure to build a dam, but it's often too expensive to bring in uh, bentonite clays and, and other products that might help condition the soil. Uh, and what can result when you build a dam is leaks. So water tunnels through or, or you get slow leaks in sections of the dam. Um, it becomes very difficult. Uh, once you've actually got your, your dam full, you've got to make a decision. Do I uh, take all of the water out and re-excavate? And this is a situation today where the owner has decided to do just that. Um, or can I rectify those leaks while the water is still in the dam? So the product itself uh, can be applied in two situations. Firstly, you can apply it when the dam's full. Uh, it basically is applied to the surface of the water. It finds its way down to the bottom and it, it basically agglomerates with all the other particles and it helps create a seal through any porous sections of, uh, of the dam um, and it will help flocculate uh, any of the sediment out of the dam as well as part of the process. It, it, it basically consolidates the bottom of the dam and forms a plug and it's a permanent plug. Once those other particles are brought in and it stops the flow, your dam doesn't just start leaking again. This product actually stays in the dam for a long period of time breaks down to form um, non-toxic uh, components. Um, as I said, it's safe for use in, in drinking water. But uh, the product itself is really designed to stop that initial problem and typically you'll find there's a problem when the dam first fills up with water. So uh, the, the project that we've got here today, uh, what the uh, owner has decided to do is they've both, both uh, applied the dam sealer to sections of the dam wall. They're actually working it into the soil to help condition the soil but they're also going to seed the dam. So as the dam level comes up, they're actually going to seed it into the, uh, the, the, the water and that will help consolidate. So I just wanted to show you now this uh, demonstration that we were doing before. Now that I've actually got the dam sealer in there, you can see there is still a few drips, but that is a massive reduction in the leakage rate uh, of the water through that uh, sand. So that's obviously very porous. It's not, not a clay like you would typically have in the base of a dam, but the product, a small pinch of the product, has been able to stop that leak in a very short period of time. So, um, as I said, there's full instructions on our website. Um, uh, we do get asked lots of questions, but the product is very simple to use. You're typically dispersing it over the surface of a dam uh, while there is water in the dam. Uh, you can see with the uh, demonstration, I just sprinkled a little bit on the water. Uh, but normally you'd use a, a seed spreader or you'd actually broadcast it by hand to try and get a layer across the water and it will find its way down, activate over about two hours and you'll find within 24 hours your leaks should have pretty much stopped. But uh, that's a, a short explanation. Go to our website for more details. 
uh, very safe product to use, very easy product to use, and it can save you thousands of dollars. You don't need to get your, uh, your construction equipment back into your dam. You can save the valuable water that's in your dam, and you can rectify those leaks while it's full and uh, save yourself a lot of time and a lot of hassle.